in the court of public opinion, the media, it's about timing. You build people up, you tear them down. These are not new allegations against him. They're just making a new approach at attacking him. That's fine. That's one discussion about our culture and canceling. But legally, a bulletproof indictment, I can't believe that prosecutors are looking at bad behavior from his college days. What do you think this is about? Well, all I can say is the, if the Southern District of New York has a grand jury investigation, they're going to cross every T and dot every I. And uh, this is not good news for Diddy. And as I understand it, they're calling in uh, uh, male and female uh, people involved in sex trafficking. And this could be a major indictment probably in about four to five months. <clears throat> they're not going to do it right away. Mm -hmm. But this is very bad news for Diddy. I got to make one comment about Rolling Stone. And uh, your, your uh, guest just made a great comment about the magazine. They had an, uh, a writer who wrote a scathing article about a fraternity at University of Virginia. And that was based on a source, a victim. And it turned out that that story was a house of cards and it was built on wet sand. So Rolling Stone doesn't have a very good track record when it comes to truth and veracity about anybody, even Diddy. Mm -hmm. Listen. I, I see it a little different. I know that case. We covered that case. Um, one story does not a platform make, right? You'd have to know who was involved, why they got it wrong. I'm not going to condemn uh, any platform for, for, you know, one swing and a miss or, or getting something wrong. Um, but here, Mark Guerra goes, this is the double-edged sword, you know? You want to be a bad boy. You got one foot in this world uh, that does a lot of unseemly things at a minimum. <clears throat> And the other one, you want to be legit. You're going to have stories like this if you live that life. I'm not excusing it at all. But I'm saying that's very different than saying he's guilty of a RICO violation and a major felony. Um, what do you make of the idea that they're bringing in people who say he sexually assaulted me, he abused me to a grand jury in terms of what that can mean for an indictment? Well, look, I'm, I, this is no surprise. I'm very cynical about what's happened here. I'm cynical that... All of a sudden, there was this kind of shock and awe search warrant raid, with, right. which uh, literally was out of nowhere. Then I'm very cynical that somehow a surveillance tape in a hotel that had never come to pass for eight years gets released sometime after that raid. Then I'm very cynical, and by the way, I know the other author of that article in the Rolling Stone, Nancy Dillon. I've known her for very, uh, many years in her pre previous incarnations. But you then see that there is this story that comes out. And by the way, in between, there were several more leaks to CNN. The cynic in me says, why? And what is the one connected fiber of all of this is Homeland Security. Why would Homeland Security be leaking all of this stuff? Mm. Because either their witnesses are not telling them what they want to hear, mm. you know, call me a cynic, or they want to make sure that they destroy any chance of Diddy getting a fair trial, make sure that they make him a persona non grata so that he doesn't have a constituency or a demographic that would push back. So I readily admit I'm a defense lawyer, and that's the way I think. I readily admit that I've represented Sean for many years. Right. But I will tell you this, Sean's, Sean's organization is hardly a RICO organization. I have dealt with them on and off for over a decade. It is a multi-billion dollar operation that is run with some people who are very talented, who have wonderful backgrounds, and are hardly running a RICO operation. I understand. But to Jason's point, let's end where we began. Um, look, you, you, know, you guys don't live it the same way maybe uh, that I have in, in my life or, you know, or Jason does with what he covers and what he understands. These are not new suggestions. I know Rolling Stone talked to 50 people. I'm saying this story could have been written at any point in the last 25 years. They're writing it now. Uh, and I think that that's relevant. Is that? And, and, you know, we'll see where they take it. But you can be a bad guy who does bad things for bad reasons. And it doesn't mean that they're going to be able to make a RICO case against you as a sex trafficker. So we'll see where it goes. Jason, I appreciate the cultural perspective. I got to jump. Um, we'll keep the conversation going. You guys are always welcome here. Thank you very much. Martini and Rossi, Anytime. pleasure.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.